If you're struggling with motivation and consistency with your home workouts, this video is going to help. I've been training at home for many years now and have learned what's important for achieving personal success. Regardless if you've got a full home gym or limited equipment, my five mental hacks are going to level up your mindset, increase your passion and improve the quality of your life. Hey everyone, Australian physio Daniel Vadnell here for Fitness FAQs. To keep this video real and fun, I'm gonna be showing you clips from my daily quarantine grind. I'm out here isolated in Melbourne. Shout out to everyone around the world. I'm gonna share with you what's helped me over the past decade. Day-to-day -day changes in training are going to be slow. So without having concrete long-term feedback systems, our default emotion is disappointment through our own unrealistic expectations. Be your own cheerleader. You need to recognize your own effort and remember that it is, was, and always will be you versus you. Proving ourselves competent is something that we all crave. We need to remind ourselves that we're improving from who we were yesterday, last week, and last month. This is going to build the confidence and the consistency to keep going when it gets hard. What can be extremely helpful for intrinsic motivation is visual feedback. I'm a massive proponent of filming your own training. Forming a successful habit relies on three principles, cue, routine, and reward. After a refreshing eight hours of sleep, part of my morning routine involves a walk to warm up. When I return home, I sit down and drink my coffee while studying the day's training plan. By now the caffeine is flowing and I flick the mental switch, put the music on and it's time to start training. From this point on, it's strictly training, no phone, no TV, no computer, no distractions. This is the one time of the day which is 100% mine. I'm not worrying about my personal life, I'm not worrying about work, I'm delaying everything else for future Daniel to handle. Training is a precious time for me to mentally switch off from outside distractions and cherish the opportunity to tackle the task at hand. After finishing, I hit the shower, eat breakfast, then proceed to grind the Fitness FAQ's vision into existence with my heart and soul. With that said, this is what works for me. There's no right or wrong time to train for everyone because we all have different lifestyles, preferences, and goals. What matters is you hold yourself accountable to a time of day which is sustainable and realistic for you. Next up, we have goal setting. Now, before you close the video because it's obvious, hear me out. We're all in this together, really. Over the last few months, we've all been forced to think and adapt to the circumstances. Over the past 10 years, the worst period of my training are always when I have a lack of direction. I'd consider this working out, where you essentially go in there, you do some random stuff in the hope that you get better without knowing exactly what you want to do. Personally, if I don't have clear goals, I naturally cut corners by doing less reps, less sets, training at a lower intensity and a lower RPE than I actually should. If I don't have a training program, I just go in there and I work on what I'm good at as opposed to addressing my weaknesses and doing the work that is actually required to make substantial progress. Gaining pleasure from the process is an undeniable aspect of fulfillment and success when it comes to being consistent with your home workouts. We're all in such a unique situation right now. We've been robbed of the freedom of extensive opportunities that we previously took for granted. To some extent, most of us have had our training circumstances altered quite drastically. It's easy to get trapped into thinking what we don't have and beating ourselves up for not being perfect. Now is not the time to be overly critical on ourselves. We really have to take each day as it comes. Your greatest home workout fulfillment is going to come purely from the task itself, the process. Instead, a healthier everyday mindset is to embrace the highs, the lows, and the mundane aspect of home workouts for what they are. I know it's easier said than done, but we always have freedom of choice. It's on you, it's on me to gain satisfaction from our home workouts, regardless of what external circumstances are thrust upon us. A big part of the human experience is connection, feeling a sense of relatedness and also belonging. Right now as individuals, a community and a global society, we're feeling unprecedented distance. Due to the collective struggle we're all experiencing, there's a widespread aura of despondency, which is soul sucking to put it nicely. 
If you're feeling unmotivated, disconnected, and craving positivity, you're not alone. I'd like to invite you to our private fitness FAQs forum. It's free to join, no trolls, no hate, just positivity and love. All right, everyone, thanks for watching. All the best with your home workouts. Stay strong and I'll see you soon.